a little Trevor's trivia. Um, yeah. I yeah. don't know what Trevor has for me. He was looking at... He was looking deep into the PDGA approval, like disc approval list, which yeah. scares me. We've got a really interesting, this is going to be like a little disc history, uh, a little disc craft, I should say, history. Disc craft history. Um, because I was looking through Reddit and I found a link to the list. And this is from like 2018, but it's, you know, nothing that I took from there is like not going to be relevant now. Um, and it's like the list of PDGA approved discs. And like I saw stuff on there I'd never seen before fascinating see what sucks is i would honestly history wise i would probably know more about innova than i would discraft yeah because i'm a rel- i'm a relatively new discraft thrower i don't doubt it i'm probably so, in the same boat all this, right this should be interesting remember if you're listening or you're watching make sure you play along either by commenting down below uh your answers and then how many you got right or you can tweet at us at foundation dg or message us over on instagram foundation disc golf um all those are, are good ways to play uh play along and see if you can beat me. You probably have beaten me most weeks, but we'll see what we got here. How many questions you got? Three questions. Three questions. That's the new norm. All right. So, question number one. Which of the following names were never assigned to a Discraft mold? Okay. 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 The Phantom, the Marauder, the Cruiser, and the Asteroid. There's four names there. Three of those were at one point and all of the ones that they're not, none of these are in production anymore. Obviously, you would know that. The Phantom, the Marauder, the Cruiser, and the Asteroid. I feel like the Asteroid wasn't. Is that your guess? It's you, either, I feel like it's either you the Asteroid. Behind that? <laughs> like, um, because you obviously made one up, and I feel like the Asteroid fits into their lineup the most with like Comet, Meteor. So I feel like that's the one you would have made up. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I was I was debating doing that. I wasn't sure if that's I'd, the only reason. I'd never heard yeah, of any of them. I wasn't sure if I would trick you with that or if I should try and pick something like super outlandish. But I wanted to give you a shot to guess it. I figured that would be your best shot. But I yeah. figured I could trick some people with that. Yeah, the Phantom, the Marauder, and the Cruiser. The Phantom all I had heard of. Marauder never did. Cruiser never did. Yeah, there's some there's some discs on there that are even and the Phantom. There was a Phantom, a Phantom Plus, and then like another Phantom. They like did three. Fa- they did Plus molds. Discrafted. I think it was called the Phantom Plus. Wow. There was like three variations of it, and they're Interesting. old. Interesting. I wonder what was the difference with like a Plus mold. There, these things are ancient. Because I know like Innova always did Plus molds like back right? in the eighties. Yeah, Innova they had did. like Rock, Rock Plus, Plus stuff like that. Yeah, the Innova, I think that it was like the Keyboard inside, Plus, um, the inside edge of the rim on the Plus molds would be slanted. Mm-hmm. On like the actual They're part, they're more were comfortable. On. Hmm? They're meant to be like straighter and more comfortable. I yeah, think. I think it affected the flight a little bit in the feel. It affected a lot. Yeah, but I don't know if that's. I, I never knew that they did Plus molds. Interesting. Yeah. What is this is question number two? What is the oldest Discraft disc still in production? The oldest disc still in production. I feel like it's a putter. It's not going to be the Challenger because that'd be too easy. I'm going to go Apex. And I, and I might be wrong on this, but I'm pretty sure these are in production. I'm going to go Apex. That's incorrect. There's actually two. It's a tie. And I believe both these are still in production. The Hawk and the Cyclone. Mm, dang. They are both in production. Yeah. They only make them in D-line, which yeah. should have been my dead giveaway. So they were yeah. uh, July 14th, 1993. And you were just talking about a cyclone before we started. So yeah. how did I not guess that? The Magnet, I think, was like 95. I wonder when the Apex came out. That I'm just seems sure. like a, it just seemed like an old yeah. disc. But yeah, 93. The, the I believe the Nate Doss had a hawk in his bag. He did. Like always. Mm-hmm. That was like one of his trustees, yeah. Old trusty. Never let me down. <laughs> <laughs> right, so this one is tough. This one, so for those of you who don't know, the Ace Race is something Discraft has done since 2003. They introduce a prototype disc, and they, you know, you can register to have an ace race tournament, and like you give away those discs. And I think are those the only discs you throw for the event? Is that how that works? Or is I, it just, I've never played one. I'm not sure how it is, but like in any case, they do like one of these discs every year. They didn't. It got canceled this year, and then 2019, which I'm not including in this list, they instead of making a prototype disc, they brought back old discs, like the Wildcat. Oh, because like the 40 one. year anniversary. Right? Yeah, they brought back the Wildcat, the Eclipse, uh, some other stuff. I think. And they put them in premium plastics. So uh, there's 16 from 03 to 2018. Uh, Ace race disc. How many can you name out of the 16? And how many of them are still in production? Just give me a number for that. So that you just have to guess. The number still in production out of the 16? Yeah. I'm going to say 10. 
Correct. Boom. <laughs> how? <laughs> no clue. I just went with what came to my mind. Um, now, how many can I name? The Roach. Yeah. The Mantis. Yep. Heat. Mm-hmm. Um, you just got 20, 13, 14, and 15. Boom. Uh, other than that, I mean, I'm. Can you give me like some like molt, like fairway mids drivers? What, uh, what am I missing here? So there's a lot. Well, I know. You're missing. Just give me what You're majority? missing two discs that are in your bag. Two discs in my Vulture? Two discs in my bag. There you go. That'll drive you nuts. <laughs> Soul. Yeah, that was 2018. Yeah, okay. I should have guessed There's that. One, one more that's in your bag. Pretty big part of your bag, I would say. Pretty big part. The focus? <laughs> yeah. That was an A straight 2009, yeah. Wow. The Soul was 2018. Yeah, I've, I, I, I don't know anymore. So the, the three years all I actually 03 knew. was the Breeze. Doesn't exist. 04 was the Glide. Still exists. Oh, wow. 05 was the Slipstream the heck is that? i have no idea <laughs> oh six was the meteor oh wow it was yeah oh seven was the impact oh eight was the nebula oh nine was the focus 2010 was the hornet 2011 was the zeppelin 2012 you know i almost said zeppelin because <laughs> um one of my friends had an ace race roach mm. and always called it a zeppelin and i always told him he was wrong he's like no it's the zeppelin man and it was a roach there you go but 2012 was the zombie you had really ne- yeah i remember that one being an ace race i knew that one um the next three you had 16 was the archer and 17 oh was the, i knew the archer was the sting which i think is funny that 16 and 17 like archer and sting are pretty similar like the same disc yeah yeah i feel like they're both stratuses pretty much i could be wrong but that's what it feels like <laughs> yeah I, I don't know i i knew the archer too i can't believe i didn't say that i knew that i didn't know the sting but yeah wow that's uh some interesting stuff you can I, find in there. Yeah, I was most fascinated with just some of the names, like the slipstream. Like, where can I get that? Like, I was really like trying to look around. Like, I want to get some of these discs in premium plastic and like bag them and just be sick. <laughs> and they're well, so what expensive. Throw, what you throw there, Trevor? That was oh, my slipstream. That was my slipstream. Yeah, that was my, the Phantom was one I I saw and I was like, I gotta have that. But I it's, feel like it's so old. It looks like a plastic plate. Well, I feel like Phantom. I could be wrong, but I feel like uh, the plastic addicts brought it back. It's like a different disc. I have no idea. Plastic Addicts has like their own line of discs. Phantom was one of the oldest ones. And they're like old disc craft molds that they like either bought or just use. And so like they have like the intervention. They have, I don't know. I feel like one of them used to be kind of. 